So now we've got our collage completed. Hopefully you followed the instructions and it's uh, well cut out. The objects are stuck down uh, accurately and flat. You've got a good selection of objects, five or six objects approximately, and at least one of them is a natural object. You've got a leaf there and you've got your name written in the bottom right hand corner. And the frame is well presented. The next thing to do is to transfer this image onto there. We're going from uh, an A5 collage to an A4 sheet of paper. So in some senses, it's twice as big. However, if you've ever copied a A4 to A3 piece of paper on a photocopier, on a photocopier or you've copied an A5 to an A4 piece of paper on a photocopier, then you'll note that you don't do it 200%, you do it uh, just over 140% to be accurate. So, because if you imagine, if I made everything double the size, the fish there is about 15 centimeters long, and this paper is a little bit less than 30 centimeters so it wouldn't fit in uh, the space and you wouldn't even have these gaps so we're going to concentrate on enlarging every measurement by uh, 1.5 times okay one and a half times so to put that into context when you did you were uh, still life painting you did your gridded enlargement and then you went from your gridded enlargement and you did uh, squares and you doubled the size of each square to come up with your painting. That was using a grid to enlarge a picture. The method we're going to use today is not a grid, it's going to be using points of reference. Uh, and this is how you are going to do it. So we said you're going to enlarge everything by 1.5. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the lowest point. So the lowest point here, probably the fin and the tail fin probably line up about the same level. Make sure the page, it's pretty horizontal to the bottom of the page. The next point furthest point is probably about there so that's touching the end and the next point keeping at a right angle also don't tilt the ruler is the tip of the fish and then finally the next point is this top fin keeping the ruler horizontal so those are my maximum dimensions my drawing and ultimately my painting are going to fit into there so let's do our check so our basic measurements are 15.4 8.2 so we need to do those one and a half times the size so first of all 15.4 half of 15.4 is 7.7 uh, 7. so 7.7 7, which is plus 15.4 puts us up to uh, 22 23.1 if I'm correct twenty three point one then we got eight point two half of eight point two is four point one so eight point two plus four point uh, one is twelve point uh, three to twelve point three twelve point three 
make sure these are right angles 12.3 and as we said this was so that's correct okay so that's our correct size so this now is one and a half times the size of this so the next thing for us to do is to put in our key points of reference so I'll just do a couple so you understand uh, what comes next so let's just do the back half so if it was me I'd put point of reference in there I'd probably put one there I might put one here might put two there actually and let's just put one in the middle and just as a matter of checking I'm gonna put one which goes from the top of the table which goes right across there and I'm gonna put one which goes make my ruler accurate and level horizontal one which goes there so you'll see what I'm going to do now so first of all, the distance between there and there is exactly two centimeters. So one and a half times two is three. So I know the tip of this part of the fin is going to go about there. This part here between there and there is four millimeters. So I know that's going to be six millimeters. So I know the tip between there and there is going to be six and that's about two millimeters wide so I know this part is going to be one and a half times two millimeters is three millimeters I'm going to put these in and you'll see why in a moment so that is 2.8 so 2.8 times 2 is uh, so we've got 3.8 plus 4 at uh, 3.2 4.2 my apologies so 4.2 goes to there I'm going to just draw a line and then between there and there we've got just about 8 millimeters so 1.4 times 8 millimeters would be 12 millimeters and again keeping our ruler accurate we then can draw a line so i've got my basic measurements now one thing i might want to do is measure how far this goes in that goes in one centimeter from there to there so on here it's going to go in 1.5 centimeters sorry yeah 1.5 centimeters so i know that if this lines up to there and lines up to there that's going to be accurate if I look where this meets that so that is between there and there is 3.4 so 3.4 times one and a half again you can use a calculator lot, lot for this but uh, 1.7 is half of 3.4 so 3.4 plus 1.3.4 uh, 1 1.7 equals 5.1. So 5.1 centimeters in, I know that's where this starts to go around. So I know I can do this by eye. I know that goes to there and then it starts to go in. And then obviously this is, goes a little bit further back. I could measure it if I want. But then that's quite straight, so I can draw that freehand. And then you do your points of reference. So you might want to work out what the distance between there and there is. What the distance between there and there is. How far down that, that space is. So you can work out where it starts to curve. So that's how you build up your points of references. Currently, to do this, I've used one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. And I think I measured that too, so probably about nine. Overall, you're probably going to have between 20 and 30 of these points of references. And that's an accurate way to enlarge, which is, uh, which is a different technique from doing a gridded enlargement.